welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode 674. Thank you so much for Hello, joining everyone. me. Welcome really appreciate it. Smile. I'm Dr. Uh, in a little bit, we're going to welcome Lee Ellermeyer, the CEO of 2C MedTech. So we're going to discuss the portable really continuous air and surface pathogen uh, reduction bit, units, known as Casper Lee MedTech, Lee Ellermeyer, Ellermeyer, the CEO or Medic, I'm sorry. And we're also going to talk about the uh, other technology that um, her company MedTech, has. It's called 2Clear System, the 2Clear System for moving teeth. The, uh, uh, before we get started, I want to remind you, if you'd like to follow me has, on it's Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko, and if please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be uh, awesome. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Also, all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Before we get to our guests, I want to congratulate the Columbus crew for winning the MLS Cup last night. I watched the game. It was an awesome game. So good for you guys. The other thing I want to mention is we just now ended National Awesome game. Influenza so vaccination. The other thing I want to okay, it is, actually uh, ended yesterday. Just now ended so if you haven't gotten your flu shot, you should still get it. I want to make sure people understand that. Okay, and then when it comes to uh, getting the vaccine, so if you go to vaccine.gov, you can find out where uh, closest that. to you they and are administering to, uh, that vaccine. vaccine okay. So. Uh, yeah, so let me just, oh, and we're going to, I forgot to mention, we're going to have a chance to win for free flowers in about 10 minutes from DeSantis Florist. I'll give you the number now. Don't call. The number is 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. So let me tell you a little bit about my guest today. Lee Ellermeyer is a serial entrepreneur, author, and painter who has spent most of her career creating order from chaos, building new companies, bringing disruptive products to market, and trying to make sense of it all through her creative and endeavors. Lee recently co-founded 2C MedTech, a technology company with a new patented system for aesthetic orthodontic treatment called the 2Clear System. 2C recently became the exclusive distributor to the dental market for Casper Continuous Air and Surface Pathogen Reduction Products. Prior to 2C, Lee co-founded and served as CEO of Replicate Dental Technologies and Lingual Care Incorporated, a Dallas, Texas-based dental technology company that developed and marketed disruptive technology for the mass customization of invisible orthodontic braces. That company, Lingual Care, was purchased by 3M Company in November of 2007. Lee has spent the majority of her career in medtech and software development holding executive positions at Orometrix, Autotester, and Extra Online. She has a BA in political science, graduating cum laude from the University of Texas, El Paso, and an MBA from the Thunderbird School of Global Management in Glendale, Arizona. <coughs> Lee is the author of Finding the Exit, It's Not Where You Start, It's Where You Finish. She is also a painter and will be holding her first show in the spring of 2021. And now a little bit about 2C MedTech. 2C MedTech is the U.S. subsidiary of 2C Dental AG, a German company that was founded in 2019 by serial entrepreneurs Rudger Rubert, Lee Ellermeyer, Dr. Christian Schultz, and Dr. Friedrich Vidu. The company is focused on developing and bringing innovative healthcare technologies to the U.S. and German markets. Good morning, Leah. How are you? Leah, are you there? I'm here. Okay, good, good. I just couldn't hear you. <laughs> you could hear you, but I couldn't hear you. <laughs> so thank you good so morning, much for being Leah. on my show you? again. I think you're on show 656. Oh, Leah, so if we do that math, what is that, about uh, okay, 18 good. shows yeah, ago? Yes, uh, and you, I enjoyed I it so much. I was very happy <laughs> so to come back. So well, I appreciate that. I really do. So I, I need to tell you, I love my Casper units. So I absolutely love them. Love them. They give me and my family peace of mind. They give my staff and my patients peace of mind. 
and they even give my guests at the Mad Cat Inn, which is my new well, Airbnb piece really of mind. So, so I'm getting lots of uh, compliments and uh, accolades for doing that. Well, I, I appreciate you telling me that because I was actually going to ask you that question because last time we spoke, you had just started using Casper, or you were about to, and I was curious to hear your impressions of it. Um, and just wondering too, um, do patients ask about that? Is that something that they want to understand that you're doing in the practice? Oh, definitely. Uh, I actually explain it to many of them. I've had at least one patient reach out to you guys and purchase one for his home. And, yes. um, you know, I, I, I mentioned the Airbnb. So, uh, the people who just left, they were here for a week. They oh, uh, live in Colorado, uh, and they came to Columbus them. for some training. And the woman, it turns out, is an office home. manager for a series and, uh, of uh, you know, urgent I, care I, centers I Airbnb, in Colorado. So, uh, and she was telling me Airbnb, how urgent they, uh, care centers have actually Colorado, turned into COVID testing sites by default, training. not because they specifically the set it up that way, but because people are putting off other things. But um, and they're going there when they have symptoms, and so she and so they're testing people. Testing and she's very people, nervous about they, when she goes home, uh, bringing it home to her children. You know, showers are, immediately, uh, changes clothes, off, all of that. Uh, other things, and but, she wanted to learn um, more going about there when they have um, symptoms, the Casper units so she, uh, so after, uh, first of all, having one in the Airbnb, which she really appreciated, and then hearing me talk about it. So. Yeah, it's Shines really, really cool. And you might remember I said to you, I'm a little leery of uh, little machines with blue lights and a fan. <laughs> <laughs> and, sure. and that's what these are. But, the and at the time, really we, you hadn't yet had the test, or so, uh, I think the research yeah, really, wasn't complete, really cool. you that remember, proved that you, they I'm kill SARS-CoV-2, the uh, coronavirus that causes COVID-19. <laughs> but since that time, and that's the what University are, of Wisconsin but, study came out proving that it does kill SARS-COV-2. It does kill the coronavirus. That proved that they yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and just the, to give uh, our audience a little bit of reference, so the since that uh, time, the Casper system the is, is basically uh, out, two types of technology. One can go in the ventilation system of a house, and the other is like the a standalone unit. It looks like about the size of a space heater, I would say, and it's probably about the same noise level. I mean, the you can adjust the fan, which that's really where the noise comes from, but it's not terribly loud or distracting. No, no, um, they're just there in the background. Yeah, and it's basically taking the air into the machine, and through a catalytic process, it's transforming the humidity and the oxygen in the air into this plasma of oxidizing molecules that go out into the no, environment, no, just there in the back. and uh, they attach to things like viruses, bacteria, mold, um, and they basically neutralize them right. by right. surrounding them. Like the, the way that works with the virus, as you know, it's, uh, so SARS-CoV-2 is a lipid virus, so it has a fatty outer coating. And when one of these molecules attaches, it basically stops that virus's ability to attach to right, a host. Right. right. So it's inactive um, even though it's not dead yet. Yeah. And so people say, oh, does it kill? I'm like, well, kill is not exactly the right word, basic, but it renders it inert, for lack of a better term. Um, and then, uh, then over time, it basically disintegrates. Right. So it's right? inactive it, even it, though it, it's it, not it dead. Can't, it can't, uh, <laughs> can't fulfill its mission. So... Um, <laughs> And, you know, one of the things that we've learned, too, um, you know, in our own studies is that uh, obviously indoor air is problematic and there's a certain infectious dose that you need in order to contract <laughs> the virus. And the more virus you can remove from the air, the less chance, even if somebody's exposed to a little bit, that they're going to get they're going to get enough to get sick. Um, and so we're actually working on some additional studies to show, you know, exactly what those numbers quantify out to be. Um, but I can tell you that we, we recently did some testing at an oral surgery clinic, um, and we decided rather than waiting till everything was clean, we would actually go in and take samples at the end of their, their day. Okay. Um, after they had, they've had, I mean, obviously they clean between patients, but stuff gets around in the air and on other surfaces that they're not necessarily cleaning. And we found that um, at the end of the day, at 4.30, um, that the bacterial count okay. had been reduced from, so we ran three days with no, no Casper and three days with Casper running. Um, on the days with Casper running average in two uh, clinics, it reduced it by 75% right oh, cool. at the end of the day. Wow. So I think if you waited until the next morning and took more measurements, you'd probably be down, you know, in the 90% range. Um, but we also knew that the cleaning crews come, come through, you know, and do bigger cleaning. So what we really wanted to understand was, hey, what's wow. happening during the day um, immediately? Right. And, uh, you know, and again, 
uh, you hear a lot of people throwing around terms like, oh, it kills 99%. Yeah, in a lab setting, it sure does. But <laughs> when you've actually got people coming and going and breathing in the air and touching right. stuff and moving things, um, that's not realistic. Right. Um, you know, but you want to know, okay, what's it doing actively during the day? Um, and so we, were, <laughs> we felt pretty good about that number. Right. I think I read the uh, report from your website, the uh, study that was done, where they went into a hospital and right. determined that under the hospital bed, or maybe, I, I guess it was the bed, yeah. 100%. Yeah, MRSA. Right. They I found 100% the, of the uh, coronavirus was still the website, there under the bed, right? The, uh, Yes. Study that was done. Wow. yes, exactly. They went into a hospital. And so um, in the oral surgery that office, that was down to 25% without bed. doing any, without even turning it on that away mode. 100%. Right. That's without putting it on the high mode. That's just running it in the normal the mode right. that people can breathe in all day. Wow. So if you turn it on to the, so the higher mode, the you know, or away at night when you're gone, right. um, then you get even a higher level of disinfection. You're basically coming in the morning and it's, you know, it's, if it's, it's 90 something percent. Um, but, you know, I think one of the other things that's interesting about this technology is that right. you, can, you can have it on while people are in the room. Right. So right. It's, it's working while you're in there. A lot of these other technologies that are available are episodic. You know, you can only do it once after everybody leaves, right. um, which, you know, it's good. But, you know, I think what we've learned about SARS-CoV-2 right. right. is it hangs out in the air. Right. So, you know, what are you doing while you've actually got people? And in dentistry... I'm sorry, somebody has to open their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You can't, you can't do dentistry with a patient in a mask. Well, we, so, have, um, we turn our Casper units up to away mode for eight hours every time we leave the office. And yeah, I do perfect. the same thing in my Airbnb <laughs> as many hours as I have. Right, Some, right. There's a four-hour turnaround, so the longest I can do is four hours if the people are showing up when they say well, we they have, are. We turn our but that's really good. Um, for eight hours four hours of uh, killing that virus. Yeah, uh, it it brings us to that 93.19 percent, I, I guess, inactive rate. Turnaround. Correct. So the longest I can do yeah. is four hours if the people. Uh, yeah. Per yeah. the yeah. University yeah. of Wisconsin yeah. study. But now that's really we're going to do Dr. Kvitko's um, question in, in a minute, but I also want to mention that um, uh, I understand that Delta Airlines has installed your technology in the ventilation system of all of their commercial airliners. Is that correct? Um, I believe now, that that is well. That's not something that we did. That would oh. be a, a Casper project. I know that they're working on something, but I can't. I can't tell you exactly where they're at with that. Okay. Um, okay. I know that they've been. Um, yes, they've been working on doing. Uh, actually, we, we've done several studies at airports too. Um, showing how oh. it works in like airport restrooms and at the TSA, um, places where people can't very okay. easily socially okay. distance. Okay. Um, and we had very good results in those studies. Oh, awesome. 90, 90, 90 plus 95% reduction. I mean, in an airport bathroom, that's pretty good. Oh, definitely. And I've been telling people, anyone that will listen, is that you're probably safer in my office okay. or my home or my Airbnb <laughs> than your own home, or your, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, that's right. Because they're leaving yeah. their house, which could have um, oh, uh, high levels of this virus in the air and nothing being done about it. Or my home and or then my they come to the office and home, we've killed it right? overnight or inactivated it. Yeah. So, yeah. Because they're leaving their house. And, and I think have, even once um, COVID becomes uh, less of a concern, of it's also great for other cold viruses, the flu. I mean, really, any other bacteria that are in the air. So, so yeah. it just keeps people healthier, I, I think, long term. Yeah, I forget which business it was. Maybe you remember that in, instituted your system, your Casper units. Don't know if it was in the ventilation system or portable. But uh, a side benefit they determined was that their absenteeism rate, the people calling in sick, yeah, had decreased by 42% was, after a year. That yep, that was in an ICU your unit. They oh, in an ICU? Study. Don't know if it was in the yes. Oh, my goodness, ICU, portable. and it still went but, down uh, by 42%? The benefit they determined was yes. that their wow. absenteeism. So the point is, is this, these, these devices need to continue well after, after people have the vaccine because we'll all just be healthier. Oh, in an ICU? I, I believe so, oh, yeah. I think, I think everybody's become aware of clean air in a way that they really hadn't wow. before. So the point awesome. is, yes. um, and I think that's a these, good thing, right? Because it's invisible; it's hard to convince somebody that there's something that they can't see that's going to hurt you. But I think people get it now. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> All right, so it is time for us to do. Oh, when we come back, uh, we're going to do Dr. Kavika's question of the awesome. day. Yeah. We're going to spend the next segment talking right. about it's invisible. It's hard to convince somebody the, the, the that there's something too, uh, that they can't too clear see that's system, you, but I think your organic system, 
and then we'll probably finish up the day by coming back to a little right, bit of so us, Lars Kirby, to too. We back, anyway, we're about we're to do Dr. Kovitka's question of the day. day. Before we do, we'd, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kovitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kovitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kovitko's question of the day. All right. And so today we are talking with Lee Ellermeyer. She is the CEO of 2C MedTech. And um, which of the following, uh, based on our discussions, which of the following is true about 2C MedTech's CASPER technology? And just right. to remind and you, so today CASPER stands for Continuous Air Lee and Surface Ellermeyer. Pathogen She's Reduction. CEO of 2C okay. MedTech. A, it has been proven and, by a University um, of Wisconsin study to kill uh, SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus the that causes COVID-19. B, Delta Airlines either recently has or is in the uh, process of installing this technology in the ventilation okay. systems a, of their commercial airliners. C, Dr. Kovitko has four of these SARS units at his dental office, one at home, one in his mother-in-law's portion of his home, and one in the Mad Cat in his new Airbnb, or D, all of the above. All right. The winner's going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Flores. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it though. I want to hear your mind. And there's nothing else in the world tonight. She said people don't take the time. Hey, people don't take the time. Hi, this is Keith Carlos, former NFL player, actor, and first male winner of America's Next Top Model. I got a question for you. Do you know how many dentists there are between here and Los Angeles? Well, I don't know either, but I fly over every one of them just to see Dr. Kavico on a regular basis. Check out my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on my Instagram page, at Keith Carlos. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavico, the world's most compassionate dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavico. Are you tired of hearing what every business is doing to keep you safe? Well, me too, because they're all saying the same thing. Wearing masks, washing our hands often, and social distancing are the keys to keeping us healthy, and all businesses are doing that. But here at Dr. Kavitko and Associates, we do that and more. We have continuous air and surface pathogen reduction units inside our office that kill over 93% of the coronavirus and other pathogens. I bet you can't name another dental office that does that. Give us a call at 614-262-9588 or go to drkovitko.com. I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavico and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavico for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavico, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today. 614-262-9500. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. We have Glenda on the phone. Good morning, Glenda. Good morning. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for listening. Do you have the answer to Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? Yes, all of the above. All of the above. Very good. Uh, Glenda, what do you do for a living? Okay, I'm retired. Dr. You're retired. Okay, you just sound so tired. Good morning, Glenda. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling in. Thank you for listening. You so you're doing a good job of being retired. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, stay on the line, please. We need to get the information where to send you those flowers from DeSantis, okay? Thank you. You're very welcome. All right, folks, if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile. It's episode 674. We have with us Leah Ellermeyer. She is the CEO of Tusi MedTech. But Tusi MedTech has another uh, really cool product. You're and we want welcome. to talk about that. Right, it's called two, s- I'm sorry, I'm the Two Clear System. So, Leah, tell me about that. Sure. Um, so it's a system for orthodontic treatment the that um, has two Tech. components. We we'll call it Two Clear. Another, uh, and both of them are clear. Really cool the first one are uh, very, very, very small, two, very thin sorry, the two clear uh, orthodontic so, brackets. Leah, tell me about um, that. You know, when people think about braces, they think generally about metal braces, sometimes clear braces. These are even thinner than clear braces and okay. even clearer than clear braces. Um, and so that's the first component. And then the second component is aligners. So, uh, and, and the reason we developed Too Clear, actually it was developed here in Germany, which is where I am today. You are calling from <laughs> Germany. I wondered about that. Yes, I am. I'm calling you from Berlin. Wow, that's um, cool. Uh, so one of my, my German colleagues, uh, a great guy by the name of Dr. Friedrich okay. Vidu, was one of the top doctors for Invisalign, which everybody's heard of. Yes. And he had a lot of patients who wanted aligner therapy that just were not good that. candidates. Either they were younger children, you wow, know, 12, cool. 13 years old, um, and their, their dental situation was such that it would be very difficult to do it just with aligners because you don't have the same kind of flexibility in treatment that you have yes. with, with regular braces. But they wanted something aesthetic, their parents did. And then you've got adult patients who might not have been treated as children. And again, they generally have malocclusions, you know, misaligned teeth that are such that it's hard to do it with just aligners because aligners can only move, as you know, so much. I know. So the idea, yeah, the idea with Too Clear was he would tell patients, yeah, I can do aligners for you. We just need to do these attachments first. And he put the little brackets on and they have a, uh, we call a self ligating clip. So basically, the part of the bracket kind of bends over um, and you can push the wire up into it. So there's no ligature, right? Okay. There's no mm-hmm. elastics like you see on, on kids. And the wire slides very easily. Um, and it takes about three to four months for people's teeth to really get, um, we call it alignment and leveling. So if teeth are high, it's kind of hard to pull those down with just an aligner. You have to have some kind of an attachment. Okay. Right. So basically get your teeth uh, leveled and basic alignment done, and then the wire is removed, and the brackets, little brackets stay on your teeth, and then you put an aligner on the top of it. Um, and the reason we do that, the reason we leave the brackets on the teeth is many times in aligner treatment. You don't see right. this in the commercials for Invisalign, <laughs> but you have to have these things called attachments. Right. They're little composite bubbles, get... little bumps of yeah. uh, plastic filling material. Exactly. You have to put little bumps on the teeth because in order to grab a tooth, you know, to rotate it, you have to have something to hold on to, and teeth are generally pretty smooth. So um, we leave the brackets on to act as attachments, <laughs> um, and it right. just gives a more of a mechanical bubbles, grip on the tooth and actually makes material. the treatment process a lot more efficient. So um, you know, we, we refer to it internally as a hybrid system, so it's kind of a combination of brackets and aligners. Um, and uh, you know, we've been using it in Germany for uh, several years, we're just getting ready to launch it in the U.S. Uh, Dr. Vidu himself um, owns a chain of five clinics. Yes. And uh, he and his associates have treated several hundred patients with the system um, to very good results. Yeah. It sounds good. I'll tell you from, what. You know, young kids to older people. <laughs> the reason I didn't do Invisalign is because you can't finish the cases with it. And uh, right. so I had, uh, I've been doing essentially yes. the Six Month Smile system, although I don't use their system. I just buy brackets and wires myself and put them on. But this is really cool because as yeah, people sounds, would yeah, prefer you Invisalign what? for the invisibility, the reason I but you just can't Invisalign do it with uh, some, of these, the um, with some, it. some of these cases. And, you just can't uh, so do it I alone. Had, uh, so I really like the idea of this system, and I think we'll be probably having some discussions about me adding this to my armamentarium as well. But this is really cool. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we think it's a great product for, for um, anybody who's got patients who want to have a liner with, uh, treatment. Some of these, um, some um, some of these cases you and just and, and even alone. sometimes, you so know, really there like are some the cases you could treat with just aligners, but you end up needing, you know, 40 or 50 aligners, and it just takes so Forever. long. You know, right. patients get fatigued with it. Um, you know, <laughs> don't want to wear the aligners anymore. So I think that's another advantage is kind of, doing we call it the heavy lifting 
with the brackets and wires. Right. Um, and then doing the finishing part with the, uh, the aligners on top. Right. And then the patient gets to finish earlier. You know, they don't have right. to worry about, uh, worry about it uh, for so many months at a time. This is really cool. We have to go to a break, but I'm going to have my producer pull one of those commercials out just so it'll be a faster break. Is that all right, right. producer? Just pull one out. He's gave me the thumbs up. All right, Leah, please stay with me. This is really cool. I want to talk more when we come back, okay? Right. I'm here. Okay, great. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. We'll really be right cool. back. You can't take me as I am. And I just a little bit. I don't know who to be. I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea. I know you see it too, because... This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Reigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Convicto, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? All right, we're with Lee Ellermeyer, the CEO of 2C MedTech. We're talking about their two-clear system of orthodontic uh, Im- um, improvement, and it's a combination of Invisalign and, say, six-month smiles, I guess, if you will. Would you agree? Yeah, exactly. Not to mention competitors, which I know I've already done, but... <laughs> All right, we're with Lee Ellermeyer, the CEO of 2C MedTech. I think there's room for everybody. Their right, and, I, and I'm also thinking product, that because uh, I do the six-month smiles, there would be very little training for me to uh, adopt your system. Would that be? Would you agree with that? I would agree with that. Um, yeah. If you're used to using orthodontic appliances done, at all, <laughs> yes. you know, because it really is it's bonding but, them on so, the teeth correctly, which isn't, you know, right. again, if you've done and it before, it's not that big of a deal, putting in the I wires, and then just smiles. knowing when's the right time to change a wire. Right, to, right. So, right. Uh, yeah. so I, I see that in my future, and maybe we'll talk more, maybe, yeah. uh, afterwards. Now, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I just want to tell a quick story. Maybe I shouldn't, but, uh, oh, and by the way, I think we're pretty much uh, in agreement that even though the vaccine's being delivered uh, on Monday and people will start getting it, the Casper right. units aren't going right. away anytime soon, and we yeah. should probably so keep I using them in for the, um, you know, for into the future, uh, well into now. the future. Okay. Um, so, I, um, I just, tell a quick I just story. had a colonoscopy, and in order to do oh, that, the, way, the um, hospital much, required uh, that I have a COVID-19 test, and I uh, on wanted to be first in line because I wanted to make sure that I didn't soon, get something from these people them giving them me the test. The, uh, you know, they're all worried about me, you know, but I wanted to make sure I was safe. So I went the night before, checked out the layout, you know, was the first one in the morning waiting for them to move the pylons, and I felt good about that because I knew that her PP... E was fresh. I don't know if they're doing a thousand people, if they're changing gowns between every person. I don't know for sure. I'm just kind of thinking maybe not exactly. But then what really was more upsetting is uh, when I, uh, they told me when I went to the hospital, I have to take my mask off and they would hand me one. Well, they're going to hand me a a level two and I'm wearing an N95 and a level three. And I said, well, it's hospital policy. So after I took their mask, I snuck mine back underneath it. I also got permission. I also got permission to in the colon room to keep uh, my masks so on. Uh, and that, I want to thank the doctor for that, that because, again, I'm still protected. Uh, level two, but here's the thing. Not a single one of those people, three, uh, the nurses, the doctor, was wearing policy. those so uh, surgical masks, gowns. They had just their scrubs on. I also well, got uh, I was the f- I, I was the first patient, the so I was still feeling pretty good about me and my safety. But what about the thirteenth patient? That, you know, again, uh, I breathe on yeah, them; they get a virus the on their sleeve. Uh, that person wipes uh, their nose. You know, whatever. We're we're down to only thirty seconds. But anyway, folks, we just have to be super careful and protect yourself and think about yourself. And what do you think about that, Lee? I think you're exactly. I think you're. I think you're exactly right. You know, people need to be vigilant and not just of themselves, but the other people that around them, you know, know that you know, maybe whatever. not everybody we're, we're is going to be as careful as you are and understand what those risks are. And, right. and wash so, your hands a lot. <laughs> wash your hands, wear your mask, <laughs> buy a Casper unit. They're not, I want to con- commend you, by the way. $1,500 is a lot of money on one hand, but I think you could be charging more, and I th- I'm thankful that you didn't uh, because it makes it affordable for the average person. 
Yeah, we, we think so. We've actually, uh, right. one last thing, we've had people buy them Wash as hands, Christmas gifts for, for their uh, older parents and for others in their lives who are at risk. And um, it's money, just, it's money, a really money, great thing to be able to offer that. Okay. More and it's 2 cmedtech.com if they want to find out more. All right, looks like I'm really out of time. I really appreciate your time. Uh, maybe stay on the line. I have a quick question for you, and uh, sure. we'll do that off the air. All right, folks, that's all okay. the time I have today. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Dr. Kavitko. Please go to my office Facebook page and like us. It's Dr. Okay. Kavitko and Associates. And it's Remember that all past episodes complete with video are right, available at TheReasonsRespond.com. Really really Be sure to tune time. in next week uh, and every week right here on your favorite station. You Goodbye. And, uh, we'll do that all, all right, folks, that's all the time I have today. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or send an email to speaking at... Just above a whisper. Okay. She's probably wondering why can't he talk in a normal tone of voice? Because the doctor's sitting here like oh, you know, five feet from me behind a plastic screen. Some people think that oh he's in another studio. Yeah, I kept hearing your